photo synthesis is one of the most important biological processes on Earth. It allows plants, algae, and some bacteria to convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy stored in glucose. In this video, we'll explore the major events in photosynthesis focusing on the two main stages, the light-dependent reactions and the light-independent reactions. These stages work together to fuel life on our planet. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells, primarily within the leaves. It's divided into two major phases, the light-dependent reactions, which take place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast, and the light-independent reactions, which occur in the stroma of the chloroplast. Together, these phases convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. Now let's break down each phase starting with the light-dependent reactions. Photosynthesis begins with the light-dependent reactions, which take place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. This phase requires sunlight and involves two key structures, photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. These photosystems are groups of pigments and proteins that work together to capture light energy. Let's first take a look at photosystem 2. Light is first absorbed by pigment molecules like chlorophyll by capturing photons. The energy from these photons is channeled to the reaction center of the photosystem, specifically to a pair of chlorophyll molecules. This energy excites electrons, boosting them to a higher energy state. To replace the excited electrons, water molecules are split, producing oxygen, protons, and electrons through a process called photolysis. The oxygen is released as a byproduct while the electrons are transferred through the electron transport chain. The high energy electrons pass through a series of proteins in the electron transport chain, which pumps hydrogen ions into the thylakoid space, creating a proton gradient. The proton gradient powers ATP synthase, an enzyme which phosphorylates ADP into ATP, the energy currency of the cell. The electrons, now at a lower energy level, are passed to photosystem 1, where they are re-energized by absorbing more light. These high-energy electrons are then used to reduce NADP plus into NADPH, another energy carrier. At the end of the light-dependent reactions, the cell has produced ATP and NADPH, both of which will fuel the next stage, the light-independent reactions to synthesize glucose. The light-independent reactions, also known as the Calvin cycle, are reactions that occur in the stroma of the chloroplast and don't require light to take place. Instead, they use the ATP and NADPH generated in the light-dependent reactions to convert carbon dioxide into glucose. The Calvin cycle consists of three main phases, carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration. The enzyme Rubisco captures carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and attaches it to a 5-carbon sugar called ribulose bisphosphate, producing a 6-carbon compound that quickly splits into two molecules of free phosphoglycerate. The ATP and NADPH from the light-dependent reactions are used to convert 3-phosphoglycerate into glyceraldehyde-free phosphate, 
a free carbon sugar. For every three turn of the Calvin cycle, five molecules of glyceraldehyde free phosphate are used to regenerate free molecules of ribulose bisphosphate, while the remaining glyceraldehyde free phosphate is then used to make glucose, fatty acids, or glycerol. It takes two molecules of glyceraldehyde free phosphate to make one molecule of glucose phosphate. Thus, the Calvin cycle must turn six times to produce one molecule of glucose. The energy stored in this glucose will later be used by the plant for growth, reproduction, and other vital functions. Fructose are added by removing the phosphate in order to form sucrose the molecule used by plants to transport carbohydrate. It's also the starting molecule for the synthesis of starch and cellulose. To summarize, in the light-dependent reactions, sunlight is used to generate ATP and NADPH while releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This stage occurs in the thylakoid membranes. In the light-independent reactions or Calvin cycle, the ATP and NADPH are used to fix carbon dioxide into glucose. This process takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. Both stages are essential for converting light energy into chemical energy, fueling not just the plants themselves but all living organisms that depend on them for food and oxygen.